Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the HTC dot view case for the HTC M8. Now, usually right now I will show you the website where I got it from, but it's pretty much sold out everywhere online. They don't got it on Amazon yet, so I had to go buy this out of Verizon. Now the price for it up in Verizon is $50. Okay, so $50, that's a little bit on the pricey side, but the case does have a lot of good functionality with it. So let's check it out. Now on the box, interact with your phone without opening the case. Change how you see your phone. If you look at the back of the box, it shows you the available colors. You got the gray, you got the orange, the green, the purple, and the blue. All right, so let's pop it open and see what it looks like. Typical HTC packing. Inside, you get the actual case and you get the book. Now inside the book, you really only need to look at the first two pages. And it gives you an idea of some of the icons that you're going to see through the dot view case. You got your alarm, you got emails, you got the timer, you got the weather, you got a calendar, missed call alerts, you get um task. Also, you get your volume up and down. You can see that through the case. And if you have a low battery, you can see that through the case. All right, so that's all you really need to see out of the book. Now, as far as the case, the case itself, the back is made out of plastic. The front is made out of rubber. And it has all these little dots in it. That's why it's called a dot view case. You'll be able to see through the phone. Once you put the phone in, you can see through the dots. Now, there's probably some kind of magnet inside of there that activates the software on the phone. That's how it works. On the back, you got all the cutouts for your cameras, for your mics, your flash, front-facing camera. Everything is there. So let's drop the uh, phone on and see what it looks like. Now, also you see you got a little HTC branding on the front and a little branding on the back. So not too much company branding. Now the thing that makes this case unique is when you pick up your phone, you're able to see notifications through the phone without opening the case. All right, so that's what makes this case different from a lot of cases out right now. You see, I got a missed call. Now, let me get rid of that missed call real quick so you can see what the weather looks like. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like when you don't have no notifications. All right, so just get the time and the weather. And it gives it that vintage, retro phone kind of look. All y'all old school cats that remember the StarTech phones, the Motorola joints, it gives it that old school kind of look. So that makes it look nice and unique. Now, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving this case a go. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of things about this case I don't like, and there's a few things about the case that I do like. So let's talk about that real quick. First off, what do I like about the case? Well, I like the build quality to it. The plastic on the back and the rubber front, it gives it a nice grip. All right, it gives, you know, if you got your HTC One M8 in the house, you already know that this is probably the slipperiest phone on the market right now, other than like the Galaxy S4, that's a slippery phone too, but this phone is mad slippery. So this case gives it a nice grip to it. You know, it gives it a nice build quality, even though it already has the best build quality, but it gives it a nice, a nice good grip to it. All right, so I'm digging that part. Next thing I like about the case is the auto awake feature. When you open the case, it automatically turns your phone on. When you close it, automatically turns the phone off. And it works every time. So I'm digging the auto, auto awake, auto sleep feature. That's a good look. Next, the gestures. Now the gestures work. You see that you double tap and you get to your weather and your uh, temperature, but if you had a notification, the notification would be on the screen. If I had a missed call, a text, missed phone, uh, missed phone call and all that, an email, all of that would show with the gestures. You also can swipe down on the phone and activate your voice dialing. All right, now from the voice dialing, you'll be able to send a text message or send a phone call and all that. Now, the one thing I, I will say that I don't like about it is it's not Google now. So it's the HTC voice dialing, and everybody knows HTC voice dialing is not the best. All right, not only if you're saying like, call Mike, call Dave, you know, a lot of times it doesn't pick up. Even if you say dial this number, 718-444, whatever, a lot of times it doesn't pick up. And I've been, you know, I've been trying it all week. You got to be in a really, really quiet place, and you got to talk really clear for it to work. Other than that, though, it's a nice little, little feature, though. Pick up the phone, swipe down. It depends how you have your setup. If you got some easy names on there, it might work better. So I'm feeling that though, I'm feeling the gestures. Next, we got the retro look. Like I said, the, the, the dots on the case, this, this makes the case look unique. It gives it that old school look. 
and I'm feeling that because I'm an old school dude. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that because I had a Motorola Star Attack. I had the green screen phones. So this gives you kind of that flashback look before everything was all fancy. Everything was pretty much like this. So it has a nice, classy, retro look, and it's different and unique. And y'all know I'm all about buying products that's different and unique. Which brings me to the main thing I like about the phone is the floss factor. And the floss factor, that just means the wow factor. You know, this case is so unique and different. When you pull it out, people that's in the game, they're already going to know what phone you got. But people that don't know, when they see you do this and they see this, it's just like, wow, that's cool. Now, I've been rocking this case for about two days already. And everybody who's seen it already is, is automatically like, yo, that shit is hot. So, you know, the wow factor is definitely there on the case. Now, as far as protection-wise, you get some protection. Now, this is not the most protective case in the world, but you do get some protection. You know, it's protecting the corners. Anything over the screen is better than nothing on the screen. So you're getting some protection on the screen. Now, the case, there's nothing in it to keep the case closed. The case just stays closed. There's no magnets or no latches or nothing. It just stays closed. It just snaps back closed. Which brings me up to the things about the, uh, the case that I don't like. First of all, now I did say I like the build, but on the flip side of that, I kind of don't like the build of it because it just feels like, I mean, it feels good, but not for $50. It feels like this case should be about $20, 20 to $25. Then I would have been like, all right, I'm definitely feeling it. But for $50, they could have, you know, it, it doesn't feel like a $50 case. Now, don't get me wrong. It functions. It functions like a $50 case, but um, doesn't have that feel like you could feel the rubber to it so it has a nice grip but you see these dots right here now look close if you get lint in it it's a bitch to get out i don't know if you can see close but there was one this morning Let's see if i can find it i probably I, I think i got it out most of it but i put this in my pocket with a bunch of lint in my pocket and you get little lint inside of the dots now i'm up there with a paper clip trying to you know trying to get the lint out it was just a pain so that's the only thing I'm not really feeling about that. I don't really like how, you know, the, the rubber is that sticky rubber. So if you put this in your pocket with mad dust or dirt, or, you know, whatever you got in your pocket, you know, people at work and you're putting dirty stuff in and out of your pockets, you got a whole bunch of lint, crumbs in your pocket, whatever you got, they tend to stick to the case. So that's one thing I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't like about that. Next, the case doesn't stay open by itself. So once you open it, it automatically closes. Now, you can use the phone like this, flip it open and use it like this. Or whatever but if you want to just do something real quick now I've been trying to like, even when I put press it down and try to you know force pressure on the sides it still snaps back all right so you're not gonna be able to use one hand you're gonna need two hands to use it unless you're gonna flip it over and when you flip it over like this now you're more likely to drop it so when you're holding it like this you're gonna have to have either you know either your pinky or something on the bottom and use it like this otherwise it's just gonna close by itself so that's one thing I'm not feeling right there Next, another thing I'm not feeling about this case, you can't use the camera with the case on, like you, with the case closed. You have to open the case to use the camera. And y'all know me, I hate taking pictures outside like this, you know, with the case open or trying to take them in um, landscape mode with the case open like this, looking like a new jack. You know what I'm saying? So you can't take pictures with the case closed. So if you're trying to sneak some pictures of somebody or whatever, or you're trying to, you know, take a picture of something that you really ain't supposed to be taking a picture of, it's going to be hard with this because you, you, you're giving yourself where you're going to be like this with the case with the phone open. All right. So no, no camera function with the case closed. Next, the colors now. The colors on this, it would have been nice if you could change some of the colors up and all of that. But um, the clock is always white. Is that a big deal? Not really. But when you're outside in the sun, like I was a little while ago, if, you're in the, if it's a real sunny day and you pull this out and you try to double tap to see the clock, you're not going to be able to see the clock with the white letters with the white numbers and letters like this if it's a sunny sunny day you're not going to be able to see this it's almost invisible all right so it would have been nice if you could uh play with the settings a little bit and change the color scheme up or whatever you know no big deal but if it's a real sunny day you ain't going to see nothing now at nighttime it looks extra sick all right if you got this case and you're rocking it at night it looks extra sick but in the daytime mm, not really Next, cheap notifications. Now, what do, I, what do I mean by cheap notifications? Well, cheap notifications, you see how I had that missed call on the bottom? If I, if I had an email, it would just be an envelope. It doesn't show you who the missed call is from. It doesn't show you who the missed email is from. It just shows you the picture of a notification. So, you know, 
Is that a big deal? Not really. But when you look at other phone cases, like if you look at the Samsung one, not only does it show you, look at the window on this one. Now, this case is $60. So I hear a lot of people were saying that, oh, the Samsung one, you know, costs too much, $60. Well, this case is $50. This one is $60. So now, if you compare them side by side, the Samsung one definitely has a better look to it. You see the stitching and all that kind of looks like leather. Definitely has a better look to it. And the, S and the S-View window is definitely way more functional. From the S-View window, now I got my tempered glass on there, so it's a little bit hard to swipe. I can actually use the camera, take pictures. I can pull out my S-Pen and actually take some notes. I can go to Action Memo and actually use it. You know, I can actually take notes. I can play music and all that. See the time, date, weather, battery. See how much missed notifications I got at the top. And another thing that's about this one that I like. Now you see when I scroll over, not only can I see a missed call, but I can see the name and the number, who called, and I can just press one button and call them back. With this one, you just get a notification. Just a picture of a phone that lets you know you have a missed call. So either way, you're going to have to open the case. So I call that cheap notifications. So that's another thing I'm not liking. It would have been better if it showed you who was calling and the name and all that. Let me just show you one real, one quick feature. Let me see. Let me pull up my... Let's make a quick phone call so you can see what it looks like. All right, so this is what it look like when you're making a call and when you're receiving a call. So if I was receiving a call, it would show... The person's name, and it'll have the option to answer or not answer. But you don't have to open the phone, the uh, open the case in order to use the phone. You just have to open it to dial the number if you, unless you use the voice command. Otherwise, you just dial it and use the phone. Otherwise, though, once I'm on a call, I can hang up just by swiping down. All right, so that's one feature right there. But like I said, on the S-View case, you can see who, who missed call. You can see the missed call, the name and number, and you can press one button and call them back. This one, you just get the notification. Next, another thing I don't like about this case, I know it's a bunch of stuff I don't like about this case. Maybe I'm just being picky. But um, one thing I don't like is when you get a notification, say I have a missed call, you can't just swipe and clear the notification. Say if I already know who's calling and I'm just going to ignore them, I can't swipe from the screen and just dismiss it. If I leave the phone there now and I, and I, and I don't touch it, if I get more stuff, it's just going to have that one icon on the front. That's it. So you can't swipe and get rid of the icon of the missed call. You got to open up and manually get rid of it. Now, just for, uh, just, just for demonstration purposes, I had to delete all three of my email accounts off this phone because, you know, I'd be having mad emails. I got like, I don't know how many thousand unread emails. The whole time I had the case on, all I had was that picture of the, of the uh, email notification. So I'm going through the emails and clicking red on everything, and I still had that notification. So... Nah, I don't like that. It would have been nice if you could just get a notification and swipe to dismiss it and take it back to the weather screen. And the last thing about this phone case that I don't really like is the price. $50. Like now, for all that stuff I don't like, $50 now, that's not a big deal. You know, keep in mind, like, like, like I said, this case is $60. You know, this case was like $70 for the power flip and all that. So, you know, cases that come from the company that manufactures the phone, normally it's going to be a little bit more pricey. So $50... The prices, this case would have been perfect. Now, if this case was $25 or $30, I would have said this is an automatic win. But for $50, is this the hottest case out right now? Well, yeah, right now it's the hottest case because there really ain't too much other shit out. Now, I ordered a whole bunch of cases from Amazon. I ordered a few off eBay, a whole bunch of different style cases. You know, it's going to be interesting to see what Spigen comes up with. Hopefully, they come up with something like this, a dot view case. But, um, you know, something built a little bit better, a little bit more protection on it. See how case fanatics, maybe they'll come up with something, whatever. But for $50, right now you got to take it because this is only the only one out. You know what I'm saying? So this is the best case out right now for the, for the M8, but that's only because nothing else is on the market yet. So if you got an M8, I would say go get it just because you're going to have a lot of fun with this feature, you know, with the retro look and all that. You're going to have a lot of fun with it. But if you don't really need the case right now, I would say hold off and let's see what what Speaking has, let's see what Case Fanatics has, let's see what iLoom and all these other companies, let's see what they got on the market in the next couple of weeks before you run out and drop 50 on this. Now, if you just want to have the wow factor, then definitely go out and drop the 50 on this because you're going to have a lot of fun at night when you pull this out. You're going to have a lot of fun. But for $50, it's a little bit on the steep side. Like I said, $60 for this one, you get 10 times the functionality. You know what I'm saying? There's so much more stuff you could do with this one. 
and this one is only ten dollars more the main thing i didn't like about this one is it wouldn't stay closed but shout out to speaking for making this magnetic clip so that solved that problem right there this is one of my favorite cases for my galaxy note 3 what would I like to see next for the HTC case? I would like to see a power case. Now, when I said that in the other video, a lot of people were saying that they, they can't make a power case because it doesn't have the pins on the back. I don't mean exactly the same case as this. It doesn't have to be an exact power case. Now, look at some of my old videos. My charge made a nice uh, power case for the iPhone that has a little adapter in the bottom that you pull out and plug right into the micro USB. So I would like to see a power case for this because the battery on this is not that great. All right, the battery on this is not that great, so I would like to see a power case, and I would also like to see some more versions of a dot view case, but say one with like uh, maybe like a hard plastic one, or maybe one that has a little bit more protection. Another thing I forgot to mention about this, the back plastic on this, now I'm a phone case kind of guy, so I already know what this is going to look like in a few weeks. This is that back plastic that's going to get mad scratched up. All right, you can mark my words on this. If you get this case, be careful with the back. After a while, it's going to get scratched up like crazy. All right, I'm a phone case expert. I can tell you off top. You see, I already got like a little bit of scratches and stuff coming, and I've been baby, I've been babying it right now. But when I start beasting with it, it's gonna get beat up real quick. So all in all, would I say get this case? Yes, it's definitely a go. But um, is it the best case out? Yeah, for now. But we'll we'll touch that again in a few weeks when everything comes in, and then we'll see what it looks like. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters I see you holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hit me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking me on Instagram. Y'all know that's why I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. It's your boy Floss. I'm going to catch up with y'all on the next trip. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, go eat a fucking dick. It's your boy Floss. I'm out. Deuces.